Hello, my name is John Lee and I'm the president of Alpha Training and Consulting and I've a true passion for helping people prepare for ASQ certification exams. However, today we're going to answer the question, how do I become an ASQ CRE? CRE, Certified Reliability Engineer. It's a great certification. One of my favorites. Why is it one of my favorites? Because it's the highest paying of all the ASQ certifications. And uh, that's why a lot of people do this to enhance their career. It's also one of the more difficult exams, however. Uh, so how do you become a relia certified reliability engineer? Well, step one, get the desire and fulfill the prerequisites. What are the prerequisites? Candidates must have worked in a full-time paid role. Candidates must have eight years of on-the-job experience. Unless you have a diploma from a technical or trade school, then you only need seven years of experience. If you have an associate's degree, you have only six years of experience as needed. If you have a bachelor's degree, uh, you only need four years of experience. If you have a master's or doctorate's degree, you only need three years of experience. You can check out the latest information on these requirements by going to the ASQ website and uh, making sure nothing's changed. I think they're going to be pretty solid for a while. They've been pretty solid on this for many years. But just to be safe. Step two. Prepare to take the exam. This is the most time-consuming and difficult element of becoming a reliability engineer. So visit my website at www.asqcre.com and you can learn more about the class we offer. We have a great class. We offer classes for most of the ASQ certification exams. We've been doing this for 20 years. We've been improving upon this class for 20 years. So we have an excellent class for you. Here are all the lectures that are involved in that class. And of course, we also use the Indiana Quality Council primer to help you prepare for that exam. Step three, now that you're ready to go, sign up for the ASQ CRE exam. Uh, be sure and watch my vid video entitled, How to Sign Up for an ASQ Exam. That should answer all your questions on how to do that. Now, when is the exam offered? It's offered on the January cycle. What does that mean? Well, ASQ offers the CRE exam all year long, every other month, starting in January. So it'll be January, skip February, test again in March, skip April, test in May, etc. Every other month throughout the year. They usually start the sign-up date, or not the sign-up date, but the date you can take the exam in the first week of the month. Then they have a couple weeks windows there for you. And so, and uh, sign up, you usually have to sign up uh, a month before or earlier. I'd recommend earlier than later. Because if you put it off to the last minute, you'll go and sign up for it and go to sign up for, uh, to schedule a place at the testing center, all the seats will be f filled up. You can't take it at that testing center. A lot of cities only have one testing center. So don't put that off too long. Again, you can check out the latest information on this schedule. I'm sure by the time you listen to this, those dates will be irrelevant. Uh, but you can check to make sure nothing has changed by going to the ASQ website. Uh, so do that as needed. All right. What's the pass rate of the CRE? Well, it's one of the more difficult exams that ASQ offers. And it's the third most failed exam. There's a 61% pass rate, which uh, means, what, 39% failure rate. Our, if you take our, our class, certification prep class, we're more between 85-90%. So we have a much higher pass rate than, than this. Uh, my estimate on preparing for the CRE, 130 hours. So we go through it in great detail to prepare you for this. We have a great class. Then what do you do? Step five, you pass the exam and celebrate. <laughs> what a great opportunity. Uh, to become a CRE. Why is it a great opportunity? Look at all those salaries. And I took the average and you're looking at $120,000 a year, the highest paid certification in ASQ. Uh, think about that. It is difficult, but it's worth the time and the money. It's probably the best dollar spent. If you look at education, how much dollar you get off investment, this would definitely take you a long ways. Anyway, it's one of my favorite certifications. All right, as you can see, I've passed most of the ASQ certifications, including the CRE, which I'm very proud of. It was a very difficult exam. And hopefully, you'll let us uh, join you in your ASQ certification journey. You can contact me at my website, alphatc.com, 
and go to the contact us option, send me a message. I'd love to hear from you and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. Thank you and have a great day. Goodbye.